Starlink Report. The Starlink Report. This is the Starlink Report for August 3rd, 2020. I'm Huey Poplock. This week, uh, OneWeb, the British government and Barty placed the winning bid to acquire OneWeb uh, back in July, with each agreeing to invest $500 million to revive the mega constellation uh, startup from bankruptcy. I reported that in the last Starlink report. Hughes Network, an original OneWeb investor, said July 27th it would put $50 million into the consortium that is purchasing OneWeb out of bankruptcy protection. On another front, Amazon Project Kuiper. On Wednesday, the FCC's five commissioners unanimously voted to permit Amazon to launch its Kuiper fleet. The Federal Communications Commission granted Amazon approval by a 5-0 to zero vote to deploy and operate a constellation of 3,236 satellites. The authorization allows Project Kuiper to deliver satellite-based broadband services in the United States. The question is, which rocket or rockets will launch them into orbit? Obviously, it won't be SpaceX's uh, rockets. However, Bezos in 2000 founded an aerospace company called Blue Origin that's working to develop reusable rockets just as SpaceX has already done. Amazon will invest more than $10 billion in Project Kuiper, but the clock is ticking for Amazon to execute. The FCC requires 50% of its satellites to be operational by July 30th, 2026, and the remainder of its fleet to launch earlier than July 30th, 2029. It will offer a way for carriers to offer high-speed LTE and 5G wireless connections to their customers in more areas where they don't currently have ground station infrastructure to do so. The plan is to first address the U.S. market and then expand the Kuiper network globally from there. Canada's biggest satellite operator, Telesat, is also working on an LEO, or Low, Low Earth Orbit Broadband Constellation. Telesat may play the p pivotal role in Amazon's plans. Decisions about whether Telesat moves forward with its constellation will have a significant consequence for Amazon's ability to deploy the Kuiper system. Here's a picture of Elon Musk from Starlink and Jeff Bezos of the Project Kuiper and Amazon. SpaceX has already deployed more than 500 Starlink satellites, constructed user terminal and ground stations, and even launched a private beta that would result in the primary public service later this year. SpaceX and Starlink had to postpone the liftoff of Starlink 9 this past Saturday due to a hurricane. It's been rescheduled for Thursday, August 6th. Starlink 10 and 11 were scheduled for July and are waiting to be rescheduled soon to try to get Starlink back on plan. Their beta program is set to start soon. They're way ahead of the one of OneWeb and years ahead of Jeff Bezos and Amazon's project Kuiper. Starlink Report. This has been the Starlink Report.